So as of this month, the Maine CDC has reported six cases of West Nile virus in wild birds. Now, while the virus can't be spread from animals to people, it is transmitted by mosquitoes. So now the state of Maine is one of 30 where West Nile virus has been confirmed. Maggie Vespa with NBC News has one family story whose teenage son is now in the hospital because of this virus. It's hard to see him like this. In St. Louis, John Proctor's once healthy 18 year old son lies paralyzed on a ventilator at Barnes Jewish Hospital after John says BB got West Nile virus from a mosquito bite earlier this month. How does that hit you that this was in all likelihood, doctors say, a mosquito bite? And here's where we are. It's hard to fathom how such a small, insignificant creature can take a perfectly 100% healthy human being and make it so that they can't even move or support their head and they can't regulate their body temperature and it just causing havoc on his body that fast. The Proctor family's nightmare marking another alarming severe case of mosquito borne viruses. Today, Wisconsin public health officials revealing two people there died this month from West Nile. The deaths in Wisconsin come as West Nile cases hit 33 states across the country. Experts point to a hotter, more humid summer, conditions just right for mosquitoes to thrive, spreading West Nile and a deadly virus called Triple E. Health officials in Massachusetts today announcing a second human case of eastern equine encephalitis in a woman in her 30s. Five states total now reporting cases as the effects of mosquito borne illnesses hit home for a growing number of families. I just keep telling him, look at my face. His dad scared. And he goes. And that's how we get through. Are you scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. BB's family is inside that hospital praying for a full recovery. They've been told it's possible, but could take a year or more.